Hi, this is Ska and Liam. I'm Liam. She's Steph. That's right. With the Resort TV One, today we're in the beautiful Gaylord Palms Resort. With uh, We're going to go see Dr. Seuss's Ice uh, with the Grinch. Liam doesn't remember what winter feels like, and we haven't been here since 2019, but they brought the Russian ice carvers back, and we're ready to go check out some Christmas fun with Santa's Winter Village. And we are so excited to be here and to take you along with us. Dad's not here today, and so we are taking yeah. the vlog, and we're just gonna run with it, right, He's Liam? He's helping um, a friend, and That's yes. right. He's helping a friend, and we're just gonna go have some fun, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll see you inside. Hi, this is Scott. With Resort TV One, today we're in the beautiful Gaylord Palms Resort. With uh, We're going to go see Dr. Seuss's Ice uh, with the Grinch. Liam doesn't remember what winter feels like, and we haven't been here since 2019, but they brought the Russian ice carvers back, and we're ready to go check out some Christmas fun with Santa's Winter Village. And we are so excited to be here and to take you along with us. Dad's not here today, and so we are taking yeah. the vlog, and we're just going to run with it. Right, He's Liam? He's helping um, a friend in That's yes. right. He's helping a friend, and we're just gonna go have some fun, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll see you inside. Beautiful map of our event. And I smell cinnamon rolls already. It says, this way to the Alpine Village. That's where we're headed. We've got our scavenger hunt. The Grinch's uh, scavenger hunt. We're gonna work on that today. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun. I can't wait. Are you excited? Well, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we are finally in the Alpine Village. This is the beautiful snow flow mountain. It's been since I was three and it's in good shape. It's been here since he was three and it's in good shape. I'm pretty sure it's been here about two weeks. But uh, they build it fresh every year. The last couple of years they've done something different. You do have to buy tickets online. Uh, there is no ticketing at the gate and you do have to pay for parking but uh, the rest of what you choose for events is up to you. Check out this Alpine Ooh, Snow I to the Hill. Oh. Hey, we've got videos about the ice carvers and what they're doing and Liam is pushing all the buttons. So Liam, how many layers do you have on, bud? Um, four. four layers. And they give us these beautiful blue parkas, and we've, we're sporting some really lovely gloves that we found in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting ready to go into the ice display. It is nine degrees in the ice display. And um, so Liam has never felt winter like this, and we're very excited. Very excited. Liam is getting all bundled up, aren't you, bud? Yeah. Okay. Say, we're ready. We're ready. They're going to tell us what the instructions are. Steps may not ride. Number three. Come on. Guess number four. Already getting cold. We're outside the building into the beautiful Alpine Village uh, ice event. And it is chilly, and we're not even inside yet, and we are super excited. We're finally in. Say hello to the ice and the Grinch. Oh, it's so cold in here. I love it. Liam says his nose is chilly. How the Grinch sold Christmas with ice. Here, how are you feeling? Are you liking the cold? Does it feel different? Have you ever felt cold like this? No? Hi, well, Liam. Let's go see what we see. Excuse me. Okay. Here is a beautiful igloo made out of ice. Oh, it's so wonderful. Look at all these little... No. Oh, it's for pictures. How fun. We're going to check that out. Check this out. Mary Mary. Got strong. Not sure what the who's are doing here, but it is fabulous and 100% ice. I love it. Hello, Mr. Grinch. Here, dogs. Oh my goodness, it's so stunning in here. All these beautiful colors. I can really get a good shot of that. Isn't that beautiful? Ice flies. 
this is the thing that Liam is most looking forward to. I can't believe it. He's on his way up the slide all by himself. I think he's right up there at the top. He's so excited. He's been asking about the whole morning. And it, this is so fun. This, I think, is the maybe the baby hill. And I think grown-ups can go with smaller children uh, together, possibly. I'm not sure what the rules are, but they have them posted everywhere. And it's so fun. So make sure you check out this part if you get to come. Shivering, so he's going to tell me how he felt about the ice slide. Tell me real it fast. It was fine. It was fine. I wasn't cold. He was not cold. Um, was it slippery? No. No? Was it fun? Yeah. And oh, not bumpy at all. Not bumpy at all. So it was really smooth. Awesome. Did you want to do it again? I do not what? want to do it again. What was that? Talk to the camera. I did not want to do it again. Not want to do it again, but he's proud of himself that he tried it once. Check out this last run. My of eyes are getting Last blurry. view of it. Isn't that beautiful? Ice carvers here, hard at work. Look at their beautiful handiwork. They are working really hard to keep up with production and make sure everything stays fresh. <laughs> Look at this beautiful holiday table with all the Whoville favorites. Check that out. Liam, what'd you think? Two thumbs up? Colored ice is stunning. Look at this beautiful white ice. Beautiful holiday music. The angels. This is stunning. Liam's checking out our scavenger hunt to see if that's what we want to do next. Meanwhile, we came out of the ice into the beautiful Alpine Village. There's enough merchandise here to keep Jenna busy for a week, and we Jenna. are not going to be able to fill it, uh, film it all because somebody's got the wiggles. But that's it's definitely me. worth checking out, and I will do as much as I can. Liam, what do you have to say about the ice thing? Fur. Fur. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, grab my hand, and I'll follow you. I'll narrate and you leave. Okay, I don't even know what those are. I think we need some crunch. Okay, these are beautiful. Go over here. Oh, here's our section, Liam. Oh, it's a wooden paint set. But a little sit down and a snack just in the lobby here. Uh, we came out to use the restroom and got done with our shopping and it is a wild experience in there. So Liam's gonna show you what he got. Okay. Um I, we buy some stuff. <clears throat> we buy some stuff together. Um but before I show you, um let me show you the tag that all of them have. Okay. So we got a bubble pop poppet for three dollars. It's a fidget spinner poppet with Santa faces in it. Uh huh. Very attractive purchase. And that's this he's going to be sad. He's happy and then he's sad and then he's happy and then he's sad. Okay. Yeah. Magician, what else you got in there? I got something in my bed. Got a. Color the coloring kit, including the markers, with uh, a couple of things. Go ahead. Because we do love crafts in our house. Yep, we got a thumb uh, puppet. A finger puppet of sorts. Right. It bends. No. <laughs> Of course, no man. There's the snowman, and here's the gingerbread man. Here's a gingerbread man, because we just couldn't live without him. Yes, got him with the. I missed the gingerbread man, you can't catch me. <laughs> gingerbread is Liam's favorite cookie. Yes. I and, well, you gotta turn him on. Oh. Ow. Excuse us while we. Have technical difficulties here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want flashing or not flashing? Not flashing. Kudos to Liam for being there, techie for the day because he figured it out and I did not. Here. Oh, what? Why is 
we? Yes, thank you. That's right. That's right. No wasting the batteries. Good job. We do have a reindeer bear. Okay, so check this out. This is our scavenger hunt book like Liam was showing you earlier. And it's got a fun little story in here about uh, the Gaylord Palms and um, about how the Grinch is trying to steal the cheer from everyone here. And so then they have clues as to where you can find it. Uh, like head downstairs to the Everglades atrium to find a place for, for, for the first clue. And so then you um, pick and then you write the answer for each one down here. And at the end, after you get all the clues and figure all it, up, it all out, and then um, here you get to put in all your answers and see the final reveal. So you don't have to be here to do the whole thing except for look for the answers and then you can figure out the answer at home, which I think is really nice. Uh, you don't have to stop and do it unless you're just sitting here resting your feet. So we're going to go um, head out and find clue number seven to start with because it's in the Alpine Village and that's where we're headed next. We're getting ready to go to the Elf Maker Factory and uh, we're going to do some crafts there. So I'm super excited and um, Liam's super excited and this looks like a ton of fun. Yep, that's right. So, yep, if that's you couldn't hear Liam. Oh, thanks, buddy. I was planning on being here at the beginning, but I had a friend who had an emergency right in the beginning of the morning. Um, so, I went and helped him, and then I'm here. So, I did miss the ice part, but I'll see all the videos later in the vlog. But now, we're going to hang out and do the rest of it. So, I'm excited to be here. Yes, and I'm super excited because that means Dad gets to help with crap time. <laughs> but first, uh, stop number seven on the scavenger hunt. Head to the Alpine Village. Lead the way, Liam. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not Just kidding. That's not where we go. Okay, so here we go. In to the Alpine Village again. And we see it, we can't Oh, okay. All right. Uh, it's that way. Follow, follow your nose. Oh, my goodness. It smells like cinnamon rolls in here, and it is delicious. But uh, we are headed to the sweet shop to see what's in the windows, as our clue suggests. Okay, so tell them what uh, tell them what the an the question was. Stockings. No, the question. Oh, stockings. No, the question is what hangs all in a row in the window. So our answer is stockings. So we didn't get a ticket for this. Can do gingerbread cookie decorating with the gingerbread man in the sweet shop. I think you can also buy some gumdrops and all sorts of things to decorate them. It's super fun. Liam, of course, had to find the best light in the whole place so he could add some art to our wonderful scavenger hunt because we need an art break in our day. Yeah, and it's what, Liam? Oh, it's a scavenger hunt on the book because the book itself is not enough fun, so we are making more fun, which is awesome. Here are our options in the Elf Workshop. We're going to do a little wood crafting and painting today. Yeah. Liam picked a little drummer, and we've got stickers and everything. We're all set up. So fun. Okay, we're all set up at our table here. This is super exciting. Liam has started painting. He's been asking for one of these at Target. And we finally found this out that like this is going to be his craft for the day and he is so excited. We are painting the drummer guy with a yellow hat and we've got stickers to go with it and some uh, some type of like cottony stuff but it's got a, like a velcro on the back or like a sticker on it so we can put it on the hat or his beard. So it's super fun. Now, oh, our appointment time was at 1. Because they're not busy, they let us in early. But um, if they're super full, they won't let you be able to do that. But today, the crafts, this craft area, the elf area, is not busy. Uh, I noticed uh, Mrs. Claus isn't telling stories today either. But um, I think they do that throughout the week. And Miss, oh, there goes paint on the clothing. Anybody else see that? 
but Mrs. Claus tells stories. Um, the other cool thing is that um, they actually opened up the ice display uh, to all entry times because I guess it wasn't very crowded. And so uh, Josh was able to go in and do that even though he got I'm here late. Next. They won't be able to do that with, with you every day, but it was something that he was able to do. So he snuck out to do that while we started this and then he'll be back to join us in a moment. All right, so here I am inside ICE. I actually got really lucky and they allowed me to go in even though I passed my time. So I'll do a little bit of video in here of my experience, but we'll see, I'm just gonna enjoy it because Steph and Liam, I'm sure did a great job. So I love the fact that this is an igloo here. Like they literally built an entire igloo in this place. It is so cool. And I love that, of course, it's Grinch themed. And so we've got Whoville in here, I'm sure. And these are the little Whoville houses there. Oh, there he is himself. Here's the Grinch. Looking Grinchy as ever. <laughs> Houses of Whoville. It's just incredible how cool they keep it in here. It's nine degrees. And I know Liam, growing up in Florida, he definitely wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Look at this. Little projections on the ground here. So all the Who's in Whoville are having fun. So nicely. I think this is the first time they've done this since the pandemic. I'm not sure. It's really cool. So the Grinch looks a little grumpy. I don't know. We'll see how much Christmas he steals, but that's pretty awesome, right? Wow. It is incredible what they can create here, isn't it? I'm sure you've already seen this with Steph and Liam, but I just wanted to show it. Oh, there's this little buddy. I forget what the little buddy's name is. Max, right? I think his name is Max. So he's putting the uh, antlers on him, getting him ready to go. I'm going to move my head here a little bit and I'll check the rest of this place out. Uh, he's in Hugo. He's in their bed. He's taking the Who ham. <laughs> that was really cool. Slides. Uh, Liam did this last time. It's super fun. I'm not gonna wait for it, but it's really cool. Literally, just every year that they do this, they build the ice slide. And look, the Grinch with all of his packages is up there on the up there on the hill, Mount Crumpet. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. I haven't watched the movie this year, so I'm a little rusty. Uh, it's highly recommended. Definitely bring more. Um, than I did, because I am wearing shorts and a t-shirt under this jacket because I didn't think I was going to make it into the ice today because of the uh, issue. I was talking about my friend um, needed my help, it was an emergency, and um, I didn't think I was going to make it in, so I did not bring my warm clothes, so you should do that. <laughs> but either way, it's so cool. Here we go. A closer view here. I see Max trying to pull the sleigh up, up crumpet. Ways and stuff. It's these ice blocks and everything. It's so well constructed. Oh, look, they're singing. Look what they got in there. This is at the end. Yeah, that's right. Unless you sing it. Ahu Torres, Ahu Torres, welcome Christmas down this way. There we go. Look, the Grinch's heart grew three sizes that day. Cool. Literally, it's really cool. It's like cold even. <laughs> Jack Frost is nipping at my nose, but I kind of like it. Put you in the spirit a little bit. I kind of miss that up from up north. I don't know that I was excited about nine degrees most of the time, but you know, I do miss the cold every once in a while. There he is, and Max is like, yay! <laughs> Last scene here. Oh wow. It's the beast. He even carved the roast beast. Oh, my goodness. 
goodness. Look at that detail on that. That's just unbelievable. Weighs 300 pounds, like 35 gallons of water per block. It takes 210 gallons of ice, of water to make enough ice for the ship. Wow, 210,000, I should say. China, yeah, they, they have the ice sculptures there. They actually, show that on the uh, Reflections of China movie at Epcot. The floor you're standing at is 16,000 square feet. It takes seven air handlers to keep it at a consistent 90 degrees for the 33 days of the 52 day run. Wow. Some cool facts. I'm sure Steph and Liam did a great job covering this, but I wanted to make sure to cover it as well. So cool. Looks like we've reached the end of the story. Walk through the ice archway. Uh, here is the ice nativity. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that's exquisite. So cool, and I'm on my way out now. It's warming up already. <laughs> this is kind of the transition chamber here between the actual um, line and the room itself. So this is where everybody over here on my other side is waiting to come in, and then everybody else on this side is coming out and warming up. So awesome. Tell me how it's going there, Liam. Pretty good. So let's look at our colors here. Red, yellow, blue, and black. And he made orange with red and yellow, right? Red, yellow. Red and yellow. And uh, you could make green with yellow and blue, right? Yellow and blue, yes. Yes. But and then, no red. No red. Well, That's right. Can we make it black? Nothing. When right. he leaves it, it will never come That's out. right. It can't un be undone. What about uh, red and blue? What color does that make? It's not pink, it's purple. Good job. So you can make all your colors that you need to with these three, except white. But that's okay because we've got our soldiers. All right, Liam, you finished it. Show us what you got. Okay. Uh... Whoa. He's a nutcracker, as you can see. And also, what does he do? Cracks nuts, but he can. This is just a toy. He's also what? What does he play? He plays uh, instrument. He plays a drum. See? Yep. And also, he's a jazz man. He's a jazz drummer. I love it. And he has a little friend up here. His name's Cappy. Awesome. And I have another one of him at home, but I want to introduce him um, when, once I get home. But this vlog isn't over yet. Very cool. All right, good job, buddy. It looks amazing. Hey, okay. let's go and see All right. if we can throw some snowballs. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, it is time for our bucket of snowballs. Look at that, buddy. We got some actual, real, verified snow from the North Pole. Liam's finally going to get to stick his hand in some real snow. Um, How do you? Gonna, yep. What do you think, buddy? How do you um, make snowballs? So you just have to get some and then just, just push it together. Yeah, but we're gonna wait. If you touch it too much, it melts. Yeah, we're gonna. So, ooh, that's the perfect packing snow. Yep, Boy, they know good. how to make it. it back in there. There so go. we're not gonna mess with it because then it melts. But we get to go play this fun game over here. Back. Hey, Look at that. Back. Back. We get to aim at the big lit up holes in the wall. There you go. Yep. Okay. Just get some and print and. Uh, so here we are. We're going ahead to make the snowballs. So that when we get up there, we just have our tank Good loaded. Job, we yep, just that's aim. right. Just grab some and then push it together. Grab it and push it together. There you go. Good job. See? 
Just grab a clump here, push this one together. Yeah, just like that, Liam. This is excellent packing snow. Like if you wondered what, what you were getting, you were getting excellent packing snow. And I know it's cold, cold but hands. you did it. That's you did what you're it. getting. Packing snow and cold hands. Awesome. Okay, so we're aiming at the wall. Let me see if I can fix my zin there. There we go. So we're aiming at the the lights. Let's see what happens if we get one. Wow. That's a good I would say that that's a good arm, Liam. Keep throwing. You're Oh, you hit one. Somebody hit one. Good job. Josh hit one. What? You hit one. <laughs> oh no. Josh is starting a war with the neighbors. <laughs> Good job, Liam. Okay, so. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa. Hey, he hit the wall. That that was big. What? That was a big one to get all the way over there. It was good. Oh, that was almost up there, bud. Good job. Who knew he had an arm? Hold on. Okay, I have to admit, this is worth every penny, and it was not very expensive. Oh, he got the clock. Okay, pack the rest of it, Dad. What? Pack the rest of it. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Okay, probably down to our last one, right? How much more? How much more is in there? Oh, it made like a little like singing yeah, it sound. Yes, it sings. Okay. Okay. There you go. You, you get it, buddy. Go for okay, it. Okay, last one. Oh, Good man, job. You, you got the clock. Good job. Okay. Is that the it? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, that's the end of that. But that was so worth it. Two minutes of fun. Awesome. Well, that was fun. We did a lot of things in the Alpine Village. I'm glad I got to go see the ice. I didn't think I was going to get to do that throw some snowballs and all kinds of cool stuff. It was a lot of fun. So what did you think, Steph? I love it. It's my favorite event of the whole year, uh, even if it's not Disney. Uh, I miss winter, and this gets me my northern fix for less than three hours without a flight. <laughs> well, and let's be honest, you like it especially because it's not Disney. It's, that's not as big of a Disney <laughs> fan as everybody else. We, we, they all know that. <laughs> if Disney did something like this, I might be able to get on board. I yeah. do miss the uh, Osborne lights. That was one of the things that we always used to do for Christmas. And, uh, you know, that that was always a special time. But um, this is this is just a lot of fun. It's nice to feel cold weather. And uh, I don't have to get too hot <laughs> that's right. to do it. And Liam had a great time. He's still down there with his toy soldier putting the finishing touches on it. There he is. <laughs> Yes. Tico. No. Yeah. Tico. Tico. Okay. So anyway. He's a drum roll and he's jazz. A drum roll. Yes. Jazz drum roll. <laughs> so we're going to head to the atrium and grab some lunch. And uh, we're going to finish the scavenger hunt down there. And we may come back for a Cinnabon for Josh for at and least we'll, breakfast. And we'll we will show you what the scavenger hunt is before we get dad room. That's right. Oh, yeah. we're fine. But we're going to go grab some lunch and we'll show you all about that when we get there, okay? Yeah. We are in the beautiful Key West atrium looking for the Grinch's clue. And we have oh, yeah. the... We have the Moor ship, which is also a restaurant, and it's beautiful, but it's open for, today it's open for breakfast and dinner, so it doesn't open until five, and, but just look at this. I can't, I can't believe this is all inside. I just love this space. It's just so much fun, and we've got some cute little Key West There's shops so behind us, and so much to read in our books. We did actually find the clues sitting way up here, but we're not going to tell you what the answer is. You have to come find it yourself. So this is coming in from the Key West uh, parking garage and the Key West uh, atrium into the main part of the atrium here. Each one of the towers has a theme. This one is St. Augustine, and we're going to check our book and make sure we don't have a clue here. Uh, while we're on our way to the main atrium. It's basically like um, a bunch of hotel buildings kind of tied together by this giant glass atrium. Yes, and uh, they of course have pools and all the resorts, uh, things that you would need, a spa and all sorts of beautiful things, but just the fact that all of this is 
lush greenery is inside is really stunning and amazing. And if you've ever visited any of the other Gaylord resorts, they're operated by Marriott and there's only five or six or a few of them throughout the country. I know there's one at Opryland that I've been to and they're all just stunning resorts. They're definitely worth even just a day to check out the resort if it's if that's an option or if you have a convention there or something. Go ahead, Liam. Um, so, um, Tiki, um, is, no, yeah, Tiki, um, is his name, and he just wanted to tell you a fact. Here is a Grinch that you will find with a red, um, Santa hat, and, um, the pirate ship is very near. You okay. will maybe see it. This is the Florida tree, because it has Floridas on it. Uh, I see some alligators and some swans, some flamingos, some beach. It's perfect for Florida. Very, uh, very authentic. Okay, we are headed to Fort Castillo. They do have a beautiful live production here that is really stunning. Um, but uh, you can have uh, dinner reservations and combine that and get preferred seating and all sorts of things. Uh, if you were going to stay here for several days, uh, that would totally be worth it. Um, I don't know if you can see this down there, but there are some actual like gold goldfish in there. Hang on, I can't hold the map and the phone. Let's see, some actual like real life koi. So fun. Uh, so this is the fort. So here we are looking for our Grinch clue in the fort. So we're going to look for it and then we're going to read the clue. Okay, this is just so fun. Like, you guys got to check this out. Like, I'm standing in the middle of the atrium right now in the fort. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. But, like, just look at how fun this is. We've got our little St. Augustine building over there that we were just at. And um, so we're looking for windows um, to find our uh, clue. But this is just so fun that this huge building can be inside a bigger building. It's just, oh, they found it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, beautiful display of those. Wow. This is okay. okay, I'm coming. Sorry about the glare. All right, here he is. Okay, you want to read the, the question? What number is this? I don't know. Yeah. Four. I want you to Thank you for the pencil, Liam. So we found it, and then while he's looking up the clue, uh, check out some of this beautiful artwork and painting with the seashells and the treasure chests and the window sconces. We found my favorite, the Pirates of the Caribbean. How can it do that stuff? I don't know how it can do that stuff. The incidence is all fake because it's too big for a human. This is uh, some real antique type glass they might have plundered. And, okay. Right, here's the last one. Okay. So here's our clue. Okay, so it says a castle like fort the Grinch thought would be swell to hide little who presents and hide them quite well. The Grinch, with his Grinch hands and ice cold to the touch, opened the windows and sealed them right up. Count the number of wrapped boxes and match it here to provide your answer below. Okay. Okay. So, All right. Let's go count the presents. This too. Okay. So then we have to match it here to the clue. Which is Cindy Lou Who's clue. Tinsel. Two is tinsel. That's our answer. Okay, we just came out of the fort and we actually stumbled on another clue. I have no idea what it means yet. Josh is still reading, but I spy something with my little eye over here in Gator Springs, presented by Wild Florida. I see a ton of alligators. Check that out. They are sunning themselves into this beautiful heat lamp and loving life in here. That is a lot of gators. And uh, they are real resort gators. They are very still, but um, they look really real to me. I'm good. So we're going to go check out the clue. So we interrupted this scavenger he hunt at me. for this turtle down here that is winking at Liam. 
He oh, moved. That's Did a real see? resort turtle, isn't it? He moved. He blinked. That's really fun. Good job, Liam. All right, go ahead. Your turn. All right, so it says, as the Grinch took his gift, he crackle, uh, cackled most vilely. He was shifty and grifty and weaselly and wily. With the springs full of gators, he carefully creeps. See, we got gators over there. He grappled and scrappled and prabbled and leaped. There by the critters, he craftily hit it up high on the rocks is the way that he did it. Count the number of blocks and match the number with the corresponding word to reveal your answer. All right. How many okay. blocks are there? We lost him. He's still on the turtle. All right. Well, there are six blocks. There are six blocks. Liam, come match the word for us. So which word goes with the number six? That's right. Antler. Antler. Good. Good job. Okay, so we're on the other side of Gator Springs here, and just this place is just so massive. I mean, we can't even hardly see the top way up there. <laughs> There's the back side of Gators. Oh, look at all those turtles, Liam. Backside of gators and turtles. Oh, sorry. Okay, I have to show you guys this part. So, not so different from Disney. We still have the backside of water. We're back. Okay, so we finally found the sawgrass atrium. We just had to go a little farther. This is the old Hickory Steakhouse. Let's check out, oh, I can't get there. I was gonna check out today's availability, but this is an actual steakhouse. And here, I'll show you the menu here. I don't know if you can read it. We've got some appetizers, shellfish, steaks. Sorry about the glare. Uh, lamb chops, more steaks. And cheese boards. Oh, ironically, <laughs> there's two pages. Sorry. Okay, so they're the same page twice. Oh, it's too funny. Uh, it's probably time for a Starbucks. I did just have to climb down these stairs to get under the sawgrass, beautiful thing, and down here uh, into, I'm not sure, it feels more by we. Oh, I found it. I sure did. I see the backside of Grinch. Boop. Wow. We're headed towards the spa. We're not gonna check that out today, but uh, we're looking for our second. What's that? It's the star over there, but that's a... No, that's the, that's, that's, that's number two. Check out the baby gators. They are called grunts. Because of the noises they make. Don't do that. You have no idea what you're saying, in Gator. Okay, so the feet brave and go in the reptile house here. We've got some snakes, and I don't even know what all. But uh, Josh was cool enough to find this one. Ooh. Hey, I found it too. Oh, Liam found it too. So there are two in the sawgrass area. I'm going to show the snakes. So if you don't like snakes, look away. But Liam wants me to show them. There's this, black this, and orange. Yeah, this the is a Florida pine it. snake and an Everglades rat snake. And, and a, a green snake. snake that I can't really see, and that's quite all right. And a green snake. And a king snake, which I don't, don't know. Don't forget a green snake. And a Grinch snake. The so, Grinch snake is I've had blue. enough snakes for today. I'm good. I'm going out. So one thing we wanted to tell everybody too um, before we end the video here is that uh, it actually is kind of hard to find a place to eat here in the Gaylord if you're not staying. Before we were able to eat at the restaurants here in the hotel and now we were just at this uh, Rutgers sports bar behind us which has, you know, your standard um, pub and grill bar type food and uh, we were going to eat there and they said only people staying here could eat there so just be aware. Uh, so we're going to get food uh, outside the restaurant. So anyway, just uh, be aware of that. If you're coming here, you'll have to make other plans to find food or eat it at the um, at the ice exhibit. You can hear a little bit of the uh, show going on over here as I leave. You can see the seating area.
so he just twisted up his reindeer because um he um wanted to trip. So that's why he was dressed up. So he's a dog, but he got the Grinch. Okay, so that's our prize for the scavenger hunt. Another tip, if you do come, the first 30 minutes of parking is free. Mm. The QR code that they give you at the gate, uh, don't scan it for 30 minutes, scan it on your way out. Uh, or pay it inside. They have a uh, pay ahead and you get a coupon to get out through the gate. So just a tip about parking. You do have to pay for parking to get into the event even if you already have tickets. So make sure that um, you plan your trip and you ask some questions. Uh, if you're coming for, you know, for the whole event and you want to fit everything in, I'd recommend a good two or three days, especially with small children. What did you notice, Liam? Um, okay, so this Grinch here, okay, this Grinch, watch, make the show begin, but wait. Congratulations for what? Finishing the scavenger hunt? Uh-huh, and awesome. when you finish it, you get um, a max or one of these, but I choose one of these because it was cute. And you okay. can name it what you want, it doesn't have to be Grinch. Okay. So one other thing is the restaurants that we noticed did not have pizza and that was on Liam's bucket list for the day. So we're gonna go check out that and meet dad for pizza and um, we'll see you next time. All right, well that was a lot of fun. We finally finished the scavenger hunt. It was a little tricky. Some of them were a little bit hard to understand clues, especially down by the Sawgrass building. So should yep. we tell them? Nope. Okay. You get to well, come do it yourself. Let's just say it says it's on the roof, but it's not on the roof. It's actually... Um, on the ceiling. Yeah. So you got to kind of look around a little bit in a different place. It says on the Sawgrass roof, it's not there. So you got to look around. Now, of course, next year will probably be a different one. So um, you know, we probably only have a few more days to do this one anyway. But it was super fun. We got all of the scavenger hunt clues and we we, uh, we won't tell you the word that we created but uh, it was cool it, it, all the words make um, a group of words and then it makes um, a phrase and it has to do with the Grinch story so that's pretty cool yep we had a blast and uh, Liam enjoyed the cold weather uh-huh and um, Tiki wanted to say um, goodbye and um, that he's glad that he got to do some Okay. Okay. But that's that is that's only he will tell you. He will not tell you the rest. Right? Okay. okay. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Na, 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 na. <laughs> so for now. Have a great evening for tomorrow. Bye bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye.